Hi there. Welcome to the new lecture. In this lecture, we will learn about Microsoft Intune Remote Help. Remote Help is a premium add-on application that is going to work with Microsoft Intune to enable your frontline workers can offer the assistance for your remote users with the help of remote help application that's where this application will be you know, useful and uh, this is going to work for windows 10 and windows 11 uh, in the back end it actually uses something called a quick assist um, that's an application it's going to use but uh, of course you need to install the manually some application we cannot say as a quick assist but it looks like the same application it's a called quick assist if you see on my machine I have a quick assist along with that i also installed remote help uh, which we are going to uh, do a demonstration next to this lecture about how to install that application, how to enable all of that. We would be you know, looking to it. But before that, uh, just to you know, let you know that there's a premium add-on. Uh, so you need to have an Intune subscription along with additional subscription called the premium subscription. Apart from that, um, it can uh, also offer you a role-based access. Uh, control also can be done. Let's say you want you know LO only uh, full control or maybe just to view only or or back based roles can be assigned basically okay and the team viewer also additional option that you have uh, other than the remote help from microsoft so if you just go back to from team viewer they do have something called a team viewer connector with that also you should be able to take the remote control of the machines apart from the remote help so in our case we are going to work with the remote help um, in the next session next a uh, demo or uh, how to configure this remote help and uh, how to enable this all of that stuff and also you should be able to take uh, very similar to you know just go to the windows devices because this is going to applicable for only windows devices all you have to do is just go back here and take a, a remote assistance if you just click on new remote assistance session this is going to bring the uh, launching this is going to uh, open up that application it's going to put up that code and you should be able to you know take the remote um, control of that machine so once you have taken the remote control uh, of the machine you should be able to you know give the assistance to them so you can you know simply click on uh, give the offer so it's going to generate an a code so this is a code which you would be you know sharing with the your end users so in my case if i just come back here this is a client machine so simply i can you know open up the client application in this case a remote help all i have to do is you know just sign in if it's not already signed in uh, if you see here the user id is chris at uh, memcos.com and the other user because this is a windows 10 machine and if you see here for just you know down if I take this window down because this is my test lab so you see here this is a Paddy user and this is a Chris user so there is a uh, different user so and it is prompting to approve MFA so in this case I can simply approve the MFA once I approve the MFA I should be able to enter the code and simply click on submit this is going to give me the control uh, if you see here this is a code which we entered uh, so automatically it will offer that experience for the end user to take the full control or the view only session so i'll just you know skip or uh, stop the demo once i click on full control or view only session uh, so if you just take the uh, view only session you have an option to you know uh, draw on the screen so that user can you know click on it or you could you know guide them uh, by clicking you know of what actions to be taken so this is a quick demo um, a post configuration this is how it looks like but you know in our demo uh, we would be you know, doing how to configure along with this all these steps we would be you know, performing uh, but before that I would you know go with the introduction of the remote help what it is I just shown you what it is you also have the uh, role based access control so you have an option to take the opportunity to configure role based access so if you just you know create a custom role you have an option to get the remote help app only view only or elevation this is for uac or full control so these are the options that you can you know configure apart from that um, if you just open up the help desk operated role these are the permissions that are already granted for your help desk operated role so if you just want to you know, customize anything you should be able to customize so by default for 
help desk operator you have these permissions already granted for you so this is about the uh, our back specific now let's understand a uh, little deeper by going into the remote help so you have a two keywords that you need to understand one is the helper other one would be the sharer uh, meaning who actually shares the screen so the first one would be the helper we also can call them as a giving help so let's say you are the help this guy and you could you know offer the help for someone right so the other person is gonna share the screen that's why we call them as a share a sharer and or he needs to get help so he would you know ask the please offer me help then you would you know actually generate as the help desk admin generate a code and the code would be shared with the uh, remote person or remote user who needs that uh, who's gonna share their screen right this is what we have done you know in a quick demo also how it looks like coming back to the pre-request uh, you need to have the intent subscription along with that you need to have the additional license which we have shown you in the portal uh, for the premium license that needs to be added and also uh, it must be Windows 10 or 11 because as I said uh, earlier, it is a quick assist in the backend uh, engine. So definitely that is going to work on Windows 10 and 11. And coming back to the remote help application, this is an application that you need to install. So it's not exactly the quick assist. There is additional application that needs to be installed called remote help. Uh, this is an application that you need to either install it or push it from Intune as the Win32 application, which we will be demonstrating in the next lecture itself. And coming back to the uh, permissions, we already talked about the RBAC. You can take full control or just the USB specific or view only screen. Coming back to the capabilities, so where you could use this remote help. You could even use this remote help on Azure Virtual desktops and office 365 cloud pc and also any machine that is not even enrolled in intune i'm talking about the machines that are not even enrolled in intune also so if you're just thinking about hey do i need to uh, use this only on an intune base no all they need is they need to have this specific application called remote help application once this application is installed as a pre-requirement then the users can automatically take a control uh, but the users both the users like a helper and uh, if you remember these are two words that we were you know using helper as well as a share or get help or give help so these two users should be on a same tenant so tenant means within the azure active directory same tenant users only can use this that's a limitation and there are of course you know there are additional limitations also which we are going to talk about in a minute but from the capabilities uh, yeah that's that's what you need to have both or should be on a same tenant and uh, coming back to uh, monitoring uh, active sessions and the past sessions can be done with the reporting which we talked about it uh, directly from the uh, tenant administration you have an option to monitor the number of uh, reports that can be uh, you could you know find out for example i just uh, uh, have done you know one session right so you should be able to see here the session how many users have done it how many times and from which user to which desktop all that can be you know of uh, viewed uh, but that's again not really a real time it takes some time to you know appear in your console to monitor those reports now let's talk about the disadvantages of this i would say i've not mentioned here if you see here but a little sense are expensive compared with a uh, team viewer uh, which is also a great uh, to take the remote control uh, of any of the devices uh, with the team we were as integration so you if you remember we were talking about not just a Microsoft uh, you also have another connector which is a team we were connector so if you just configure that uh, that is a little expen a little less expensive compared with the remote uh, help and coming back to the demo side uh, so the additional disadvantages so it's not going to support government uh, clouds 
GCC and GCC high and also high security DOD 10 nines are not supported and the, the entire limitation we if, if you remember the user the both helper and the sharer should be from the same as your tenant meaning if uh, let's say I, I'm actually on my tenant and you are in your own tenant and if we want you know make a remote help between both of us it's not gonna work but if you remember quick assist can help uh, no matter where you are right and no matter what is a user and wherever the user but remote application or remote help application is not gonna help you if you have a multi-tenant so it's gonna support for a single tenant that's a limitation okay and you also have to check for other tenant regions and their support because it's not supported everywhere so you might have to you know look into your tenant level uh, whether this is supported or not okay coming back to the trial yes you could you know take the trial control like you know uh, by default uh, it's gonna cost you right you know close to you know three three point five zero dollars that's a three dollars fifty cents USD which is gonna cost you so if you wanna give it a try just for this demo how it looks like just you know make a practice then you should be able to you know, give it a try you would be getting 250 users free trial for 90 days so that's what i'm going to do it in the next demo which i'm going to take you close to 18 to 20 minutes of demo and uh, followed by i'll also show you the logs this these are the logs that are useful for example this is a log for the installation this is the session initiative specific help and also you have the event viewer where you could you know track uh, from application and services point to microsoft windows remote help this is where the logs are generated so if you see just go to the microsoft from applications and services and you have an option here for the remote help and under uh, operations you would be you know, getting different logs whenever you take this session and uh, coming back to uh, application how would I install so applications can be installed if you just go to aka.ms forward slash download remote help so this is a single word and if you just go to this URL you have an application to download it would be a very lengthy one and all you have to do is simply download that and rename to a short one so that you could you know install it or if you directly give it a try yeah you're welcome to automatically uh, install that application but you know we would use to uh, short the application name to remote help installer.exe and then we would you know give these command line options to quite more to install and remember all the time the application gets automatically uh, releases new fixes so if you see this small uh, web page which I'm talking uh, from Microsoft website uh, they found as new uh, issues they keep on updating these versions okay so how do we keep on update this application so the best way of what Microsoft suggests is to uh, include an option called enable auto update equal and zero this is gonna make the automatic update so the application will automatically gets updated so that's what it's going to do it and in case if you are trying to uninstall this is a command line that is going to use like a forward slash uninstall quite mode accept terms equivalent one so that's how you're going to put it and remember my friends these are the case sensitive okay enable auto updates are always including accept terms both the words are case sensitive and uh, we will be you know packaging this the entire uh, downloaded file and we would be you know deploying as a win32 application uh, with the uh, intune uh, that's all about the uh, quick uh, semi demo come you know introduction on remote help i hope you enjoyed it i would you know catch you in the next lecture uh, on how to deploy this as a solution enterprise solution for your end users Thank you for watching this.